They say their cause is compassion for animals. What's going on in there is an injustice. Has seen a huge jump in the number of us going vegan. Hello Jeremy, how are you? I don't know whether you're angry today or just generally about the whole thing. Well, I'm a bit upset to see your sandwich has a piece of a pig's body in there. A dead pig that didn't want to die. Probably uh, pushed, pushed into a gas chamber because that's the most humane method for stunning pigs in the UK, a gas chamber. Is that vegans do seem to be very angry. Yeah, you'd be angry too if there were dogs in the back well, of that truck. My intention at the start was not to get a big social media following, was not to be popular, was not to make it in a news article, there was none of that. Jeremy did wind me up a little bit, which I feel like it's justified passion. I mean, if you'd seen what I'd seen, you'd feel the same way. Uh, radio interview the other day, and I probably got to let that get a little bit heated, more than I should have, um, in retrospect, but you know, only a human being. I don't take any issue with, with vegans, but what we do care about is when it turns militant. A lot of these comments are from vegan activists. Uh, rape, murder and slavery, okay? What happens so, to your I, cows you after, if I what happens you to your cows when they cannot produce milk anymore? But I'm not going to deny that that is rape. I will never deny that that is rape. You think that being called a rapist is immoral, but the act of sticking your hand inside of a cow without their consent isn't immoral. You, you, you do get death threats, which is quite ironic coming from people that want peace for animals and... I don't like what they're portraying us to be violent, sending death threats and murderous vegans. I don't understand why, why they did that, eh? A few names being thrown around is nothing compared to what the animals are going through so people can eat their bodies. And when you do provide the evidence of death threats, I will publicly condemn whoever are sending them because that is not a reflection of how we feel about farmers. Like I get death threats sent to me by farmers and they're going to take to events where I'm at and they're going to hurt me, stuff like that. But most worrying now, farmers and mess and they're going to go abuse an animal. They're going to go shoot a car. They're going to go hurt their pigs because I irritate them. Now, I don't believe that you know this is acceptable from any side. It is exploding. Ethics is coming to the forefront of the discussion. Well, we're on the news now debating with farmers. And okay, and this is what's going to happen. We can't, it's coming to a debate. And you know who's going to win this debate? The truth. No matter how much money they think they've got, no matter how much propaganda they think they can perpetuate, it's going to backfire on them. Because they don't want to bring to the light the most humane slaughterhouse on the planet. Let's put some glass walls up. Okay, let's see it. They don't want it to come to light.